Okay, welcome to today's video and it is part two of the q and A. I I don't know if you saw part one, but if you saw part one, then I asked, do you want me to carry on doing this? And also, because I only got through half of the questions on Instagram, I better answer the rest of them. And lots of you said, yeah, 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 part two. So here it is to answer the rest of the questions. And I'm glad that you guys like these Q and A's um, because it's a way for me to hopefully give you value in um, in health and fitness and also give you an insight into my personal life as well so a whole mix of things and sometimes a chance for you to see the cats but pickles isn't sitting here this time she might get involved so let's carry on with the q a um, from where we left off straight in there with a fitness one how often do you need to exercise your abs well it depends what your goals are for your abs but your core your abdominals is is just such an important integral part of you being fit, you being strong, you being functional is more than just seeing six pack abs. In fact, I know a lot of people that have great abs but really bad core. It's mostly me. In the past when I've had really good abs, I've also been known to have a really shit core and had sore lower back and stuff like that. So having good abs doesn't always mean that you have a strong core. So I recommend training them almost daily and sometimes abs training isn't crunches and crunches and crunches it's utilizing your core in compound exercises like squats deadlifts presses and things like that but when it comes to isolation and doing the the crunches the leg raises the rotations you could do those almost every day body weight style but if you're in the gym then two or three times a week maximum loading it with weight is it okay to work out on an empty stomach before breakfast? Yes, yes it is, but it depends on your goals. If your goal is predominantly fat loss or weight loss, then I'd say, yeah, go ahead. If your goal is trying to optimize building muscle and you're skinny and, want, and you don't wanna lose any more weight, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend training on an empty stomach because you wanna give your body the best chance to build muscle, so you wanna get food in there, that you need the carbohydrates for energy, you need the protein to make sure that you're building muscle and you're not doing any um, muscle wastage by using your, your muscle and your protein for the energy. So you need it from your food before training. So depending on what your goal is, if it's cardio, then that's fine as well. Sometimes I don't have breakfast, but I can supplement with BCAAs, which are branched chain amino acids, which are um, protein, are the building blocks, the amino acids, to, so that can help with the protein, the muscle wastage if you're doing cardio or any other training. Hi Alex, you probably get asked this all the time, but how can I battle stubborn belly fat? How can I battle stubborn belly fat? Odd, odd way to question it, but stubborn belly fat is a really, really common question. And um, it's referring to that last bit of fat. It's referring to the fact that maybe you've lost a load of fat or weight and you just can't get past that last bit. Because the further you go along the journey with fat loss, the harder it's gonna be because the less percentage of your body is fat. So it's getting harder and harder. But in theory, you just need to do what you did before but more, just be more consistent with it. So at the beginning, if you've got 20 kilograms of extra body fat, it's easy at the beginning because if you diet a little bit, you'll lose weight. It's hard at the end if you only just have a little bit of stubborn belly fat, but you need to just keep doing the same. You need to be in that consistent calorie deficit, which might only just be a little bit every day, but doing that every single day really helps. So are you tracking your nutrition? Are you tracking your training? Are you tracking everything you do? The more you track, the more you can measure, and the more you can adjust and apply as you go along to keep making progress. But what I find also is sometimes to keep making a deficit, it's not just about eating less and less and less and less, because that's dragging your metabolism and your BMR down as well. So really, if you've got stubborn belly fat, it's about building muscle, getting the metabolism up. Maybe consider a, a mini maintenance and then a mini cut. By doing the mini maintenance, you'll increase your lean muscle, your metabolism, so then you can cut again and go further. And doing mini stages like that can get you incredibly lean. And on that note, any tips to help with tracking calories? It's so tedious. To be honest, tracking calories, um, 
is easy when you get practicing it. When it's part of your habit and part of your routine, it's not tedious and it can just become easy. At the beginning, it can be a little bit like, oh yeah, it's effort, or I forgot, or oh, I've got to scan that food, oh, I've got to wait. But once you get into the routine, actually, lots of the food that you eat is repeated daily. So, you, so then it's easy and findable. It gets tedious when you're thinking about eating out or trying to guess with your eyes or you go to a restaurant. On those cases, you can just guesstimate or not use the app or just take a day off and be sensible. But in your day-to-day -day routine, eating similar foods all the time, it is easy. Just do it if it refers to the goals that you want. Do you drink at all, like ever? Um, I do drink sometimes, yeah, but not much really. I'd say once or twice a month maximum. And even on those cases, it's one or two drinks maximum. So no, not really, because like I, I enjoy like a beer or a whiskey sometimes, but um, most of the time I want to put the calories to the good stuff. <laughs> like for me, it's the cookies, the chocolate, and I prefer to to um, have my cheats with that. But sometimes if I really want to relax or a stressful week, then I do enjoy a drink, but it really isn't isn't much to be a part of the whole equation. Can I try have your babies, please? Thanks. Hmm, and that no. came... <laughs> Sarah just said no. And that came from a man as well, so I really don't know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm having them. Oi, oi. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Do you use any apps for meditation and mindfulness, such as Calm or Headspace? I don't currently. I am, I do wanna get much better at my mindfulness and meditation. Recently, um, when improving that aspect, I've just been sitting with like a guided meditation or music using Spotify or YouTube, but I have used Headspace and Calm and um, they do massively, massively help. Um, but if you're not into that and you find yourself stressed or overthinking, then I highly recommend getting into that because as soon as I do, my whole day um, is a lot better and I stress a lot more because sometimes I find myself just overthinking all the time. In times of closed gyms, which first gadget should I get for my home gym? I assume you gadgets, you mean equipment. Um, first of all, body weight training is epic. Just, just work hard with your body and if you're looking to progress that, then dumbbells, kettlebells, resistance bands, um, are easy small pieces of equipment that can really progress your training and you watch out soon croc fit kit is coming out in fact can you see what's in that box i'm not going to show you yet but those blue bands prototypes on the way keep a lookout where do you see yourself in the next 10 years oh i'm waiting for an alien to come down in a ufo and say do you want to come and i'll say can sarah come too and then off I go, off to, off to Mars or whatever, wherever they want to take me, I don't mind really. <laughs> In all seriousness, everything I'm doing now is pretty awesome. Just what I'm doing, but bigger, um, still like, just, yeah. Crockfit will be massive. Maybe I'll be a, a Hollywood actor and um, Sarah would have taken my babies by then. Um, do you recommend upright rows? Upright rows, I do recommend if you have healthy shoulders. If you've got bad shoulders or sore shoulders, going into this position not very good for a barbell because you're restricted in that movement. But if you're using cables or resistance bands, you're, you have the flexibility of your body moving, your shoulders moving in the comfortable position that it wants to go in, so then I do recommend them. So if you have healthy shoulders, yes. If you've got painful shoulders, no. Do you follow any diet like keto or fasting? Um, and how much do you think genes matter? I definitely think genes matter, whether they're Levi's or H and oh, oh, like as in genetics. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they definitely matter. Um, but I always, I always like to coach people and make people think that we all give ourselves our own limits. So if you realize you're unlimited, and our whole goal is to see what we can truly achieve in our lives, physically, um, but also in, in our life in every aspect. And that's what gives me so motivated in my training is I never think I've reached my limit, my genetic limit. So every day I'm just trying to push myself to see what I can achieve. 
Um, in regards to dieting, I've, I've tried various diets in the past, but ultimately the thing that you're looking for is the right calorie balance, filling your nutrition full of the right nutrients, healthy, like enriching food, mostly from a plant-based diet and, and then some meat if you're a meat eater. And that's just less restrictive than having one of those actual labeled diets and enjoyable and something that you can do long term. And if you track your calories as well, then you, you know that you could get away with some um, not so nutritious food and get away with it as well. I saw a TikTok about deloading. What's your approach to this and active rest periods? Deloading is a term for when taking like a lower volume week or a week off completely off of training. And the thought for this is, well, depending on what's after the deload week, but if you've been training hard for week after week after week, progressive overload, building, 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 and your body doesn't have a full on rest, or a reduced rest, then you might just be running yourself into the ground. And actually having that deload week may, if you have an event or a competition or a run, that could kind of preserve all the stores, put all the hard work into, um, into your body, ready for you to, to prove your body and see what you got from all the hard work. If it's like bodybuilding and you've been training, 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 then the deload week or, or strength training, then a deload week can give you the rest that you need so, you, so you're not going into overtraining. So then you can clean the, slate, clean the slate, hit reset, and then go again harder. What do you do when you are craving sugar, if you do? I do, I do crave sugar, but I know exactly what's happening when I'm craving sugar. And, um, and that's usually what I do. When I'm craving sugar, I'm like, I'm not just craving sugar because I want sugar. There must be some, other reasons why and it's always a list of these things either my sleep's been rubbish like low sleep high stress or my motivation is low because i've been eating crap anyway or haven't been training so if i'm craving sugar i know that i need to sleep better i need to train and, and be motivated and make sure that i de-stress and once i've done all those things i just want to be healthy and, and eat well so they're my top recommendations if you do crave sugar. And it's not wrong to crave sugar now and again. And when you do, um, I don't want to say just completely give in to it, but sometimes it stays there un unless you do give in to it. But there are ways for you, like you can have sweet foods that aren't like having a full on binge is what I'm trying to say. I can't gain muscles easily. I'm very thin, what shall I do? Um, yeah, some people have it hard to, to build muscle, hard gainers, but you definitely can. You just got to put in the, the appropriate work. So you've got to lift weights, ideally. You can do home resistance training if you're a beginner and still build muscle, but ideally lift weights, follow a program that hits all your muscle groups. Don't skip leg day, because if you do squats and deadlifts, you're going to build the legs, which are the biggest muscles in the, in the body, going to help build the whole... Um, uh, across the whole of your body and of course nutrition most hard gainers just aren't on top of their nutrition and their protein if you hit that minimum protein target of one gram per pound of body weight whilst also hitting a consistent calorie surplus then there's no way that you're not gonna gain weight most people that struggle to gain weight aren't nailing their nutrition and are just severely under eating for their metabolism morning routine video I do plan to make that very soon, don't worry. Um, what's the benefits from red light therapy? Um, yeah, some of you on Instagram have been seeing me post about my red light therapy, been using it for a while. Um, I don't know the, the perfect ins and outs of how red light therapy works, but I'm using it to help with my recovery. And basically, the red light wave into the body helps those cells work at their optimal level. So if you're looking to recover, looking to have good quality skin, lots of these kind of benefits, then red light therapy is the way. So I'm using that and I'll keep you updated and make an Instagram video soon. What's your favorite workout plans from the CropFit plans? That's hard, that's like, what's your favorite cat? Or what's your favorite baby? It's hard for me to do because I've had incredible training with gym fit and, and home fit. I'm gonna have to just say like, 
the original CropFit plan was the Gym Fit One plan. And that was like, that was special because I wrote that program without even thinking what the future of CropFit would be. I was just making a 12 week program based on how I train, how I eat. And um, that was really what made my physique the best it's ever been. Um, that was a training for my first ever um, magazine cover as well. I got my body in the best shape it's ever been from that kind of training. So when I want to get myself in the best ripped muscular shape, my gym fit plan is the way. Um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully hitting that again now that gyms are open and hopefully stay open. So that will probably be what I'll be going to next. So. I'm gonna round it off there, that's pretty much all the questions done. If you are looking to transform your body, work on your, your health, your fitness, drop body fat, build muscle, learn lots of the things that we've been speaking about here, have my one-to-one -one support on email and DM, then make sure that you download the CrocFit app um, and check out the Home Fit, Gym Fit and She Fit training programs and I'll be happy to help you. Um, so that was part two of the Q&A. Maybe I'll do once a month once a month, something like this will be good. Um, but until next time, I'll probably see you in another workout. Bye-bye. <laughs>